<laughs> well, this morning, Samantha Rivera and the Upert <laughs> got us making a little bit more than just food. What are you ladies doing today? Good morning, Vicki. Yeah, that's right. So we are making lemon bars and deodorants, all homemade, of course. And so quick, <laughs> <laughs> my, mine's bigger than hers. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? I, I don't know. <laughs> But a quick story, so the first time I really got into baking was my senior year of high school, and one of the first things that I made that wasn't just easy cookies were lemon bars. Yay. Yeah, so I'm excited to try it out, but I've never done deodorants. I'm also excited for yeah, that. Yeah, we're starting a new year off, good. Yeah, I gotta start yeah, fresh. get rid of some chemicals. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and so my go-to deodorant, in case anyone was wondering, is secret deodorant, but if yeah. everything goes well today, I might have to switch well, over. Well, that one's yours. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> well done, I'm gonna save some money today of course if you know a secret deodorant wants to sponsor me or something I yeah you know, I wouldn't be opposed you'd go back I know yes it. Cheers. <laughs> so we've got a fun show for you guys today make sure to stick around live in the streaming Samantha Rivera TV 6 news okay lemon bars and deodorant I wasn't expecting that one <laughs> let's head over to weather center 6 for what's happening in the weather today well this morning Samantha Rivera is in the kitchen with the Uper goddess whipping up lemon bars and uh, good morning ladies these sound delicious Good morning, Vicki. Yes, so we're not just making food today, but we are going to start off with the lemon bars. Yeah. And okay, so what's in here? This is two cups of flour, half a cup of powdered but, sugar, powdered sugar, and, and one, one cup, cup of, of butter. butter. That's it. Okay. So when you mix it, you it, when you use your hands, mm -hmm. it comes together. It's like crumbly at first. Yeah. And then when you get your hands in there, it like comes together. What I do is I roll balls. Okay. All over, like you know, a little less than a golf ball size and okay. then just spread it out it spreads out so nice okay. and you want to get it up on the edge of the pan because you're going to dump your mixture in yeah. there okay so over here we have four eggs and two cups of sugar and a teaspoon of baking powder which might seem kind of weird yeah but it does puff up a little bit mm -hmm. and I always squeeze my own lemon, lemon juice yeah. because it's just better yeah um so this recipe has five tablespoons that's what you oh. ate one, hey? Yeah. It was real lemony. <laughs> it was so good, yeah. You could easily So we're going to do that. And also I added to this a teaspoon of zest. Okay. So you're going to just mix this around. You want to mix this. This crust cooks 20 minutes, mm -hmm. okay? So have this part mixed. And I put this on my, my mixer. Okay. Because I noticed last night when I made the ones that we got here. Yeah. Um, the sugar seemed like it didn't want to dissolve. Okay. So you want to kind of beat it a little bit. Um, I can tell here that the sugar is nice and it's actually kind of fluffy. Yeah. It looks really nice. Changing up your aunt's uh, recipe. Sorry, Aunt Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. looking down. It's, all yeah. right. it's still tasty. It's my Aunt Marcia's recipe. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Okay, so you said you put this, or the crust is in there for 20 minutes, yep. 350 degrees, right? Yeah, and okay. I did show you, remember I showed you those ones over there oh, that yes, yes. the middle seemed gooey still, which mm -hmm. was still good. Yeah. I mean, it's still edible and everything, but oh, yeah. um, the sides cooked different than the middle. Okay. So if we look at one of these, see that's more by the side, and then this one was more in the middle. See how runnier it mm -hmm. is? So I'm going to do an extra okay. five minutes on it. Okay. So I'm going to bake this for 25 minutes and um, we'll see if that works. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure it will. It so will turn out well. I also, the other night I made oh, little yeah. tart things. Those are so cute. So I took the crust and I squeezed it into my little tart pan. Mm -hmm. And what happened was this crust will puff up a little bit. Yeah. And then when I put my lemon mixture in, it wasn't deep enough. Mm. So I took my extra um, stuff I had left and I cooked it on top of the stove. But okay. what I would recommend if you wanted to use like a tart thing mm -hmm. to make, make a custard okay. and, you know, put it in there. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, when we return, we are going to show you guys the end result. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. And we're going to work on those deodorants. So make sure to stick around. That's going to be fun. Yes. Live in Ishraming, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Okay, thank you very much, ladies. Yeah. Looking forward to hearing Let's more about that. Yeah, lemon bars and deodorants. I, I wasn't expecting combination. that. combination. Yeah. <laughs> Never know what we're going to get. This morning, we're learning how to make more than just food with the Upra Goddess. Samantha and Lori are showing us how to make lemon bars and homemade deodorant. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> Good morning, Andrew. Yes, we are going to quickly recap what we did to get to this final part yeah. of the lemon bars. We cooked our crust for 20 minutes. Yes. 
Then we beat our eggs, our sugar, mm -hmm. baking soda, salt, yes. and five tablespoons of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And I bake this five minutes longer than the ones that I have here, yeah. just to see if it tightened it up a change. little bit more. And I didn't beat the first oh, yes. pan. So. And another thing you can do with these, look at how fun. Yeah, Let me so see cute. your piping okay. skills here. I, I've done this once. Let's see if I've gotten any better. Uh, there. There we go. <laughs> see, I got this down. Ah, pretty. Perfect. So we're making deodorant. Yes. So what part. you do is you take five tablespoons of coconut oil, which okay. everyone you usually has in their house, yeah. right? Yeah. Four teaspoons, four tablespoons mm -hmm. of baking soda, which that neutralizes odors. Okay. Have I ever stunk? <laughs> no. Just asking. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> good. <laughs> and four <laughs> tablespoons of cornstarch, which may, holds it together. Yeah. So you're gonna measure out four tablespoons of this and four tablespoons of that and okay. put it in your bowl. All right, I will do this. And Lori, you mentioned, so this is not something that you want to like bring when you're going to like the airport. Like to a tr like if you're going to a warm climate, yeah, I wouldn't take it. Just because it'll melt. There's no chemicals to make it from breaking down or melting, right? Mm -hmm. So if you think it gets too soft in your house, you can put it in the refrigerator because the minute it hits your skin, yeah, it melts. Exactly. Okay. And what I got over here is here it here's what it looks like after you get it all incorporated yes. and you can buy these empty deodorant containers online mm -hmm. or save your containers how do you clean them out just with dawn and soap okay um i've used them over and over and mm -hmm. over again um I don't making know a I little bit of a mess here so <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um okay. do you ever read the back of a deodorant container I have not, but... Well, um, there's like 11 to 12 ingredients, and I would say probably about 11 of them you can't pronounce. You don't even know what they are. No, yeah. it's just total chemicals. And, you know, there's links to different diseases with mm. um, the chemicals that are in deodorant. Yes. Uh, we could eat this. Okay. But it wouldn't be as good as lemon bars. <laughs> <laughs> no, it <wouldn't>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not something you want to do, but you could. Okay. Because well. it's totally made out of things that, you know. Just in case, like, a, a, a kid gets it in their mouth or something like that. Yeah, it's not going to hurt them. They're going to spit it out because yeah. it doesn't taste yeah, very good. they are. Yeah. So but you push it down in your container and... Okay. We're going to shout out to Paula and Josie, two girls oh. I met in Escanaba this weekend. Okay. Nice ladies. Hi, girls. And hey, Connor and Bo. They should make their own deodorant. They should. Right? Yes. Yeah. And quickly, I want to mention, so if uh, anyone was watching me this past Friday, I wore a Uper sweater that Laura yeah. had given me as a gift, and a lot of people were asking about it, but you oh. said you're out of stock, right? Yeah. Um, if you're interested in local, you can mm -hmm. go to 1844 Nagani, which okay. is across from the Vista Theater. Okay. Um, it's where the YMCA used to be. Um, okay. And uh, they have what we have left from Christmas. Okay. And we are going to get some more in stock soon. Perfect. So um, we're coming up with some new ideas yes, and new exciting. logos. So we're very excited for spring. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so, so much for showing us how to make lemon bars and deodorant. We're going to stay yeah. fresh this new year. So, yeah. And thank if you, you think you'll stink with this, uh, <laughs> doubt it because you won't. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Live here in Ishpur Bank, Samantha Rivera. Keep TV smiling. TV. I'm going to try that out when I go cross country skiing oh. next time. So I want some to come back here, okay? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much.